Hi there and welcome to another jam-packed edition of Ridley TV, where you get exclusive stories of this week's events. On this week's episode, Ridley and Strut their stuff on the catwalk. Honoring our senior girls hockey players, a motivational speech from one of Ridley's own, and Ridley's very own edition of Mythbusters. Last Saturday, things were heating up in the Rossmore Theatre, as Ridley College hosted their second annual spring fashion show. With over 100 tickets sold, the event raised over $1,500 for Out of the Cold. Out of the Cold is a local organization that feeds and shelters those in need. Local businesses such as Citrus, Jean Machine, West 49, Campus Crew, Sirens, and Ridley's very own Hanks supported the event by loaning clothes to our Ridley models. Ever heard of the Blue Boy? How about Ridley's mysterious tunnels? Ridley TV's very own Charlotte Smith tries to uncover these mysteries. I've heard a few ghost stories, but nothing that really is of any substance. The one, I mean, when I first came in, they used to strap students still, in the horse hole. So the big thing was uh, uh, you could sue them when they strapped you. So you put a hair or some onion juice or something in your hands, and they, the strap would cut their hand. There's, there's myths about passageways under, kind of, uh, well, from lower school to upper school. They don't, they don't exist. Uh, yeah, well, I feel wish. Uh, from kind of merit house to the chapel that are in, they don't exist. Um, from there is a passageway I used to use from from the basement of the house to the boys' house uh, to kind of the archways. You know, in the archways is a doorway. Is that, there. Yeah. yeah. So that that does go down some stairs into the basement of G House. Cool. Uh, it's blocked up right now. But. I wish it. a number of students who are ghosts in my class. They're there, but they're not really there. And their work is invisible. <laughs> and they're sort of a presence, and they kind of creep me out. But the only one that I know of is the one from the pest house. And it's a little boy who uh, died from the Spanish flu. And the pest house used to be the infirmary. And caught the Spanish flu back in uh, uh, just after World War One, and then he was sent to Toronto because he was so sick and when he died in the hospital in Toronto at the exact same time the bells chimed here. The seven graduating players on the first girls hockey team were recognized for their contributions and dedication to the team with a pre-game ceremony hosted by Ridley Athletics Director Mr. Jay Treadway. And tonight we honor our seven graduating Ridley Hockey Stars. Between them, the girls have played 800 games in orange and black, winning more than 70% of the time. Entering the school on the heels of back-to-back -back CISAA championships in 2006 and 2007, Aliza Cox, Carly Robinson, Kara Power, Riley Mazarova, Emily Van Diepen, and Sarah Robichaud carry the Ridley Hockey banner high, winning tournament championships, four tournament silver medals, a Napa bronze medal, and two more medals in the provincial championships. At grade 12 addition, Samantha Reimer to the mix, and this year's team has gone 24 wins, nine losses, and four ties, and scoring their opponents 140 to 88. On behalf of everyone that has donned a competitive jersey for Ridley, I wish to congratulate these young women on their success, and thank them for the time and dedication they put into hockey at the school. Though their legacy still has room to grow, it will forever be etched in the history of sport at the school. Continuing in the spirit of hard work and dedication, last Tuesday, rowing director Mr. Dorland presented his motivational speech entitled, The Win is Within. The speech was about Mr. Dorland's new outlook on life. His old mentality was if you weren't first, you were last. This outlook consumed his life and rowing career. But that all changed when he met his wife, Robin. Robin was a world-class runner who competed in the Commonwealth Games. Her outlook was slightly different to that of Mr. Dorland's. So when Robin got home from the Worlds later that summer, I knew I had another question for her. Robin, why do you do this? All this time, all this money, all this energy. What for? I mean, come on. No offense, but 
The chances of you ever stepping onto a track and beating an athlete cranked up on EPO or taking steroids, the chances of you ever winning, it's next to nil. So why bother? Just quit. Go back to school, finish your degree, get a job, start making some money. Come on, let's get on with our lives. And she looked at me, and with that very quiet voice, she said, Jason, I don't do this to beat those athletes. In fact, I don't even do this to win those medals. I do this for me. This is about me. This is my personal life journey. And as long as I'm continuing to learn things about myself and enjoy myself, I'm going to stay on this path. <coughs> never got it, you know? I mean, I never really got it. Sure, I understood the concept of the journey, and I'd seen the posters before. It's about the journey. <laughs> but I never lived it. I never embraced it the way Rob did. And since then, Mr. Dolan has adopted this mentality and believes he's a better coach and person because of it. So coming up on our next show, the cadets are back in action, and Ridley TV has exclusive footage and interviews from a few of our cadets. Find out what the tradition means to them. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Ridley TV, and stay classy, Ridley College.